go back. So I expect anybody who wants my tutorials to have some kind of basic understanding about JavaScript, at least know that it exists, right? So I want to move forward now and talk about how we actually work with JavaScript and Angular. And we're actually not writing JavaScript ourselves. We're actually writing something called TypeScript. So that's why you kind of see a component right here with the end.ts instead of JS, right? We use the .js for JavaScript, but this is TS, which is TypeScript. So what is TypeScript? Well, there's a link called typescriptlang.org. You can go and look it up yourself. And TypeScript is a typed superset of JavaScript compiled into plain JavaScript, right? So it's, it's like when you write C-sharp code or you write Java code, it's being compiled into computer language when you want to execute the program, right? It's the same with this. We have something called TypeScript that we can write, and then you can compile it into JavaScript later on when you need to start executing this in a browser or Node.js or wherever you want to execute this. So think of TypeScript just as an extension of JavaScript, a superset of JavaScript that we are going to use to write our dynamic code, write a way for us to kind of change information in the DOM or on the page, the web page that you have available, right? So let's say that I wanted to change this title right here. I could actually change it inside my TypeScript file. And the reason I can do that is that we have a title right here in the TypeScript file. And let me just try and do it and write snurf here instead. I'll save this and go back and you'll notice it says welcome to snurf. Okay, why? Why does it say welcome to snurf? That's weird. I didn't put in welcome to anywhere. And, and where's the snurf and where's this ex explanation mark? coming from? Nobody knows. Well, I know, so let me show you. What you did right here is you actually, inside TypeScript, you wrote a title property. And that property, you set that to a string of the type snurf. Now, because of the way that a component is set up inside our Angular setup, we can actually start writing selectors like this, like we talked about last lesson. And because these guys are bound together with an HTML and a CSS file, I can actually start using in the HTML that's combined with this component. These guys are kind of bound together because I say this is a component called app component. He knows about the app component HTML. I can actually start communicating between these two. And that's the real power of Angular in my mind. Instead of writing complex JavaScript files and maybe use jQuery to manipulate the DOM, we can actually do it directly inside a single component. So that means that if I go into this guy, the HTML component, I can actually see how I get the title. So let's try and jump into that file. It's called app component HTML right here. And I actually know where it is because it says it's in the same file. I can see that by seeing dot front slash. It's in the same folder that I'm in right now with this file. And then I can say it, the name is app component HTML. Well, no magic there. App component HTML is right here. Double click that and there we go. Now we can see that the H1 in the top that we're looking at right now, H1 in the top, it says welcome to right? Welcome to, there we go. And then it says snurf because I put in the title right here. So this is an angular notation right here. And then we have this guy in the end. Let's just try and remove it to show you. Then that went away. And if I undo, you'll get it back. So again, there's no magic here. It's just setting up some information. So this is plain static text, but this is actually dynamic text that could be changed on runtime, right? So that's why it's in here. That's freaking amazing. Next lesson, we'll just make a simple button to just try and change this around on runtime. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.